Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afras from civiltechnologyforyou.com and in this session I will cover the topic how to find quantity of excavation through AutoCAD in Excel. So these are complete videos tutorial in which I will go through from excavation up to finishes. Before getting into the topic we must know about what is plan and what is section. So if we need the length and the breadth of the object we will go directly into the plan. We will get length and the breadth of the object in the plan. And what is section? There are two types of section. One is called cross section and another is called long section. So in cross section, we will get the breadth and the height and material of the object. And in long section, we will get length and the height and material of the object. So this is the long section for this wall, wall number one. And this is the cross section for these walls. So let's find out the quantity of excavation for these walls as i have mentioned the wall number one wall number two so these two walls are similar so i have mentioned them as wall number wall number one and these two are same so i have mentioned them as wall number two so first uh, find the quantity of uh, wall number one so we have to go into the section and we will see what is the width of the wall for excavation so for excavation the width is 525 mm okay the original width of the wall as in superstructure or, or brickwork is 225 mm and we will add the offset of 150 mm so offset is 150 mm so we will add this on both side of the wall so we will go into the section and we will see as offset is 150 mm okay this is 150 mm for both sides we will add this offset on both sides then we will get the breadth of the excavation as this is the width of the wall in brickwork so we will add both side the offset of 150 mm and 150 mm so we will get the width of the wall so what is the width of the wall for excavation it is 525 mm so now we have to calculate the length of the wall as the original length of the wall is in superstructure or for brickwork is 4500 mm and if i will go here in long section and i will check what is the offset here is it is 150 mm so we will add both side 150 mm so what will be the size here so it is 150 here and 150 size is here so both we will add and we will check what is the length of the wall for excavation so it is 4800 so sorry 4000 and we will check it again yes 4800 is the length of the, this wall wall number one and the breadth of this wall is 525 mm and the height or the depth of the excavation i will check it in section so this is the ground level and i will check from here okay i will measure here okay this is 550 mm so the length and the breadth and the depth of the object we find it so we will open the excel and we will put the values here okay here is the excel sheet and what i will do i will make a table first first will be serial number then description description then what will be number number of object okay number then length length in meter okay i will put here in meter okay then breadth also in meter then depth depth okay also in meter okay then quantity and total quantity total quantity okay and i will make border here just select this one right click go into the format cell and there will one option like border okay i will select the style here which i need i will select this one and will make outline and inside and will then press ok so this is the border okay let's delete these two okay length breadth and the height and i will make them bold 
okay yes these are bold okay i will put the values here serial number one description wall number one as there are two walls wall number one there are two walls are same so number in numbers i will put two and in length i have measured already what is the length of this wall for excavation i will put here the command dal and i will check the length okay the length is 4800 millimeter it's mean 4.8 meter uh, 1000 millimeter make 1 meter so i will convert it into meter 4800 divided by 1000 so it is 4.8 meter okay so i will put this value here 4800 sorry 4.800 what will be the breadth as we measured before so what will be the breadth here the breadth of excavation is 0.525 mm how 525 mm divided by 1000 to convert into meter so this is 0.525 meter so i will put the value here 5.525.525 meter and the depth of the depth for excavation i will measure here from section so i will go into the section okay the depth is 550 mean 0.550 meter so i will go here and put the value 0.550 meter so now i am going to the wall number one and i will find the quantity of wall number two so i will put here wall number wall number two okay these all are also two walls so i will put here the numbers two so now i have to measure the length of the wall so what will be the length of now we have to excavate from this level to this level okay this is the uh, area where I, we have to excavate because because uh, we already excavate up to this level up to this level so now we have to excavate between these two okay so we have to check what is the length of this wall for excavation so we have to excavate 2.75 meter for this wall okay as we excavate up to this level okay so 2.75 let's check again 2.75 okay i will go into the excel and i will put the value 2.75 and the breadth of the walls will be same 0.525 and depth also so 0.55 will be depth of these two walls now we will uh, multiply these for quantity so equal to i will start from here from numbers because there are two walls this multiply by length multiply by breadth multiply by height or depth okay this will give us the quantity of this wall so it is 2.772 cubic meter so i will drag down the formula for this okay it is uh, 1.58 cubic meter what i will do here i will select this one I will go into the format cell in format cell and in numbers i will check two decimal okay in numbers i will check two decimal and will press okay so now it is two decimal okay so we find out the quantity of wall number one and wall number two and we will add the quantity right now here i will write total total quantity okay and will add total quantity here okay equal i will put the formula sum then store the bracket and i will i will just select this range and will close this formula and press ok so the total quantity for excavation for these walls will be 4.36 cubic meter so i will mention i will highlight this one by color some color and i will go here and also highlight this one by this color ok so this is the quantity for these walls and i will rename the tab okay from here and i will write here excavation okay that is it from this tutorial and i will see you in the next tutorial as we will do the pcc quantity so thank you very much and allah